Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to some more Immortal Cities, Children of the Nile and we are going to start on the hard campaign with the first city being Mennefer and I said a couple of missions back that at some point we were going to build the Great Pyramid and it's right here. What a way to start a campaign, to build the Great Pyramid. Pyramid. The two kingdoms of the Nile are as one, and you are to be Egypt's first ruler. The primacy of the first pharaoh must be assured. Your tomb shall bear witness to your greatness, and shall be the most magnificent monument the world has ever seen. A pyramid to stand for all eternity. The site you have chosen for this, and for the capital of your newly founded nation, is in a lush area near the Nile Delta. Rich in natural resources and populated by many humble villagers, eager to become part of your fledgling realm. Egypt will grow. Egypt will thrive. Egypt will endure. Your pyramid, your name, will last forever. Okay, so yes, we are building the Great Pyramid. And the Great Pyramid requires a ton. And I mean a ton of limestone. And we have some limestone right there. I'm not sure if we have some fine limestone. Don't think so. I... Looks like we will have to uh, do some imports. But um, that's not the uh, problem right there. We do have a large... Um, area to uh, build in which is uh, quite handy and I think we're going to um, build somewhat close to the um, quarry and have the pyramid being over here now the pyramid will take some time to um, you know be built because it's freaking huge but uh, hopefully it will not be um, too time consuming. Let's see, let's start with making our little, um, our little, little palace right there. And I'm gonna make a 4x4 four four nobles uh, area here. And hopefully this will not come back and bite me. And then I'm gonna have, of course, the um, the farms by the flood. Because why not? Farmers. How many do I need? Let's see. I need about twenty. And I think the best place would be, of course, over here because it's a large, fertile area. And yeah, I think I'm gonna place most of my farms over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Something like that. And a path and of course you guys also need some uh, common wares which is also something you guys need and you also need luxury wares and let's see Something like that. And hopefully everything will work out just fine. But knowing this game, it will um, give me some troubles. And I'm also going to uh, place down the um, 
priest's apartment, the first one we need, which also will be our teacher, because that's the most important thing, and let's speed things up, because, well, we can't sit around for too long. People are already moving in, which is nice, and of course I need to um, have some sort of a uh, industry area, which I guess will be over here. These are reeds and all the things we need for, um, let's see here, I need brick makers. And everyone who has been following my shelf for the last, um, well, campaigns, know that I like my bricks. I'm gonna get a brickyard there, I'm gonna get some uh, brick layers. Not there. Brick layers, and I need a baker over there, and I also need one over here, of course. And I need some papyrus makers. Wow, what a perfect start. <sighs> wow. Just wow. Okay, fine, we're gonna lose some uh, prestige because of that. Because we don't have any um, bricks to actually make um, our first tomb. Isn't that lovely? Luckily, the um, the prestige, prestige loss is going to go away over time, but um, still, it's kind of a bad start already. But at least we got plenty of villagers. If they just want to move in, that is. And I could also um, place the uh, <coughs> pyramid foundation. As you can see, it's a um, bit on the huge side. And I think over here is the only place where we can actually place it. Ugh. 287 limestones. Mm -hmm. Yep, that that is that is a thing. That is indeed a thing. Hopefully, the uh, lime or fine limestone quarry will be able to uh, output quite a bit per year, or we're going to be here for a few hours. Well, at least I am, because when once the uh, city is established. I will probably just cut out most of it until the uh, the very end. But we'll see how I do it once we get there. This home will be occupied soon. Well, that is nice to know. And. Uh, Good fertility. Well, that's good to know. Uh, road. I need. I need. I need. Quite a few things, actually. One of them being the uh, gardener. I'm actually not sure how the military 
part is on this mission, but hopefully not too bad. Oh, we can get some more farms already. Good. And one, two. What do we have? Russia's. Do we have some um, gold or anything? Not sure. I don't think so. I only think. Yay! I know that I don't have a tomb because, you know, I'm kind of out of um, time. There's only so much I can do in the first two minutes of the game. And finally we are getting the uh, brick production up and running. Oh... Right. Okay, so our papyrus makers will be um, built first. Not really a problem, but I would have pre preferred if um, the uh, priest department would be built first. But uh, you can't have everything. What else do we have on this map? We have quite a bit of flat land over here, but I don't think we're ever gonna go over here. There's some flax over there. Quite a bit over here as well. Yeah, getting um, resources for our Crafters will not be a problem. Except, you know, they're going to work their butts off to actually get their hands on it. Actually, I need some servants. Um, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, I'm gonna place a road over there and make it double. How's going over here? You are not working fast enough. And how big is the granary? The granary is three by three. Perfect. That means I'm going to build one over here. That is the highest priority because uh, I don't want to lose food for every harvest. And why are you angry? Because, oh, we don't have any goods. Well, that is because uh, our shopkeepers haven't been able to produce enough 
just yet, so calm down. Calm down. It will happen. It will happen. As long as these guys just don't screw things up. Actually, I could make a few more brick makers now because the first ones are up and operational. Auto save, thank you. And then the baker over there. Excellent. And of course, once all this is completed, we need to get our first tomb up and running. Because I doubt this thing will be finished before well before I die again I don't have much faith in the my people no oh and I also need a few entertainers I wonder if I should place you over here Oh, granary is being uh, built. Excellent. Next up is the baker. And just like that, we should be able to store all the food we gather. Maybe. How much food did we get? Yeah. Is this actually our harvest? It could be. Could be. Yeah, well, I see nothing wrong with that. At least we um, have more food, you know, now than than we need for the rest of the until next harvest. New bakers on the way. Priest apartment is soon being built. Everything is going fine. Everything is fine. And you need funeral service. Common wares. Cole wasn't treated by any medical building. Yes, yes. And the hospital is the same size, which is fantastic. And then in the middle we can have some... Oh, we can have the apothecary, because it's two by two. That is... Good enough for me. You are hard at work, which is just how I wanted to be. Oh, and you got yourself some walls. Uh, 
Oh, you're actually... Um, luxury wares are... Doing fine, but not the common ones. Because, well, everyone wants the common wares. It's uh, kind of self-explanatory. However, you guys... You're not working hard enough. Produce more bricks! Oh, school is getting built as well. Awesome. However, it is time for us to um, end the first episode of the Hard Campaign. So, thank you very much for watching and hopefully this um, mission will, won't be too long. But, we will have to uh, wait and see for the results. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care and bye bye.